Hey, 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 all you beautiful folks out there. Um, so this is one of those videos that if you're having a rough night or you're kind of beating yourself up right now, I just say save it and come back and watch it another time um, because it's just kind of an in-your-face uh, kind of video. And it's uh, primarily directed right at myself. Actually, you can track most of what I share, say, write, think, uh, whatever. You can track it back to something that I've needed in my own life. Um, so when they say preaching to the choir, I'm like the epitome of that. Ooh, I used epitome and another big word last week in a video. What was it? Uh, plethora. Plethora. <laughs> epitome and plethora. I'm getting really good at this thing. I guess I should have learned these words and used them in a sentence in third grade, but whatever. So this is one of those videos. Um, I dare say that much, much of what we experience that delivers us into the embrace of pain and heartache <clears throat> had plenty of red flags leading up to it. I would dare say that there were many detour signs that said, hey, watch out, look out for this. And because of the desire of what it was that we were striving to achieve, we ignored the red flags and we ignored the detours. I dare say that much of our daily stressors are created at our own hand. And that there are things that we deal with that are the result of our own choices. Now, this is not some big deep spiritual talk like you're a sinner and so of course there's consequences and I'm just talking straight human behavior, okay? I'm talking straight, you walk into the fire, you get burned. That's what I'm talking about. And in dealing with relationships more specifically, um, I can definitely tell you that there have been many connections that I have had that have completely broke my heart. And the majority of the ones that broke my heart, I had plenty of detours and plenty of red flags going into them. I saw plenty of ways out. Things that were not good for me were being manifested in front of me. And I boldly walked into the arms of that chaos. And um, I guess we're growing up, right? I get, my mom said, that's good, Jennifer, you're 40, you should grow up. I really still feel like seven on the inside, but it's whatever. Um, I guess I'm just growing up a little bit and I'm starting to see that much of my stress I am creating. Now, I'm not saying I feel like I have to do this on every video so that we don't have all the people who like to attack, they're looking for the thing to get pissed off about. I'm not saying that because you have cancer that it's your fault. I'm not saying that because your husband whom you were faithful to and loved with all that you are and that he never showed you anything up leading up to breaking your heart that somehow you deserved it because you saw it coming. I'm not saying that. There are the situations that come our way that we can do nothing to avoid and we never saw them coming. I'm talking about the majority of the stuff we deal with and if you were to get honest with me and with yourself right now, you would be able to find some truth in that. So what I'm saying is everybody likes to say New Year's resolution 2017 is going to be different. I'm just saying that today is going to be different, that tomorrow is going to be different. I can't promise what I'm going to do for the next 12 months, and I'm not going to make a bunch of commitments so that I can feel all let down. I'm basically saying that I'm awakening to the fact that I am the creator of my own destiny. Now, I'm not saying again, I'm going to always have this in these freaking videos. I'm not saying that I'm God and that somehow he's not powerful. I'm saying we are the creator of our own destiny. If I want to lose weight, I work out, I lose weight. If I want to buy a new car, I go to the car lot, I buy a new car. That's making my own destiny, okay? So we are the creators of our own destiny. And I'm just simply saying that today and tomorrow, I'm going to do that. And more specifically with relationships, I'm going to pay attention to the red flags and the detour signs, and I'm going to listen to them um, because our gut is hardly ever wrong, especially if we're listening closely. So just the thought, maybe you might consider it for yourself for today and tomorrow, and we'll see what happens after that. I love you guys. Rock out your beautiful night.
Oh, by the way. You are certainly worth it. <laughs> Love y'all.